Catherine Wilhoy. I work with Oklahoma Career Tech and I am the OK Career Guide trainer for the state of Oklahoma. So as of today, it is August 31st, 2023. And you probably know if you work at a high school or a middle school that our vendor that provides OK Career Guide, their name is Cooter. They released a new admin site a couple weeks ago. And so we're gonna work on how to transition your students out of your high school or move your middle school students over to your iSchool today through that new admin site. Again, this is specifically a new admin site for our secondary folks. So our middle schools and our high schools and our tech centers that are going to be working with high school students will be able to access this admin system. So I wanna walk you through specifically how to move your students out today. So join me, I'm gonna share my screen. And please join me as we walk through this together. It'll only take a few minutes, but I wanna show you the ways that you can move your students out or move them up to the high school. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on our Cooter Navigator uh, admin site. Again, this is brand new, just released a couple weeks ago. And this is what we're going to now be logging in with. Moving forward, you will not use the old admin site whatsoever. So log in and you are going to see this as the home screen page. Now, you may be wondering, okay, but I don't have a login. I don't know how to get access to that. How do I even log into a new admin system if I haven't gotten set up yet? That is okay, we can absolutely get you set up. Uh, depending on who you are at the school, you may need a different level of access to the admin system. So just very quickly, we have a district level admin access. This is for our folks who need to have access to every single site that uses OK Career Guide. So this may be your principal, assistant principal, high school counselor, and so forth. And then we also have different roles for your teachers who maybe only have access to middle school, if that's primarily who they teach and who they do OK Career Guide with or we can assign teachers or other folks to just the high school if that's all they need access to. But specifically, if you are the person who primarily pulls the reports and does ICAP for your school, then you really do need district admin level access to this. So if you don't have access to the site at all, then please email us. You can email our vendor, Cooter, at support at cooter.com. So support at cooter.com is the best way to get a hold of them and just let them know, I need access to the new admin site. I would be a district level admin, specifically if you're a principal, assistant principal, counselor, um, and that way you have access to this website. So if you are not sure how to get in touch with Cooter or if you know me or, or want to touch base with me, you're also welcome to email me instead or call me. So. Here's a quick snippet of my email and my phone number. So I'll give you just a second, write that down, take a picture of it, whatever, and you are welcome to email me or call me if you have questions about this. So give you just a second. All righty. So now I'm going back to the admin site. I just wanna give you a quick overview of this website. Over here in this corner where it says my profile, the little human, I can see what access level I have so I can see that I'm a district administrator, okay? Again, that's how you can know what access you have. If you need access to all of your sites, you do need a district admin access. So another quick snippet is being able to see schools. So since I have district level access, I can see every school in my district and I can select and deselect as I please. Now I will say, I will be doing an admin training over this entire system on September 5th, 2023 at 9 a.m. if you want to register for that. But again, today we're specifically fo focusing on how to transition students out. So. We're gonna jump into that. We're gonna focus on this left-hand menu right over here. So in this left-hand menu, you're gonna see a few options that you can go through. I'm gonna start with organization management. 
So you're going to see the four options here. We're going to go to school management. So if I click school management, it's going to load and it's going to show me that I'm in my training high school. It should show you whatever your high school's name is. And you can see that there's a specific activation code. This is what I call ENCODES. ENCODES are specifically assigned to every single site that we have in the state of Oklahoma. And so I will show you that we do have a state archive code where you can move out any transferred students or any seniors who have graduated that you no longer want in your system, where to move them. I'll show you that in just a moment. But each site in the state of Oklahoma that uses OK Career Guide also has a specific ENCODE designed for their specific site. So you'll notice if I click middle school, I get a different code. So let's just use the scenario that you are moving over your eighth graders to ninth grade and you wanna move them over to the high school. What we can do is make sure we're in the high school and we're gonna copy this code. So this is going to allow us to move eighth graders over to, to the high school instead of from the middle school. So we've copied this code. We're gonna go back over to this left-hand menu and we're gonna go down to the transition students option. And this is where you're going to be able to select a group of students, select students one at a time, however you wanna do it. But again, we're gonna make sure we're in the correct school. So since we're actually moving students over from the middle school to the high school, we're gonna go locate our middle school students, okay? So you can see, I only have six students in our, our career tech middle school. Uh, you'll have a whole lot more. If you go over to advanced filters, you'll also be able to see the grade levels. So let's say I just wanna move eighth graders over and I apply. You're gonna have a long list of eighth graders. So you can either select all of them at once. So imagine I had multiple eighth graders listed here, or you can select one at a time. So from here, you're going to click transition selected students. And you're just gonna paste that same code. That's your high school code. It's gonna move this eighth grade student over to our high school. You would click validate code and it would make sure to confirm and transition them over to the high school. I'm gonna cancel that because I don't wanna move anybody over. Uh, and I'm also gonna exit out this filter, clear out that filter, and I can select all. So that's how you can select all, or you can select one, one at a time, excuse me. So um, I'm sure you are aware of how to do that, but just in case, I like to cover all bases. I would click transition selected students, that code saves for me, that moves them over to the high school. So you may be wondering, okay, that's great, but now I wanna know how to move transition, how to transition and move students out who were at my high school, but no longer are. How do I get them out? So the way to do that is you need our state code. So this is a state code that we use. It's essentially an Oklahoma resident archive. That's what I call it. The student can always get access back to their account we can always get them back to your school if we need to. So don't panic if you actually accidentally delete a student, just contact us and we can get that student back for you. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to select the high school and deselect the middle school. And I'm gonna show you how I would do this. So if I'm gonna go to advanced filters, let's say I'm gonna do 12th grade. And let's act as if it is summer 2024 and you're like, okay, all these students have graduated. I wanna move them out. They're no longer gonna be with us. You can select all or one at a time. You can then transition selected students. I'm gonna clear out this ENCODE from the high school. This is the state archive code. So it's in 392-7288. A N M, and then you would validate code. And that would move those seniors out to the state archive. Their account is never lost. You can always locate it, but that way they're not bogging up your school anymore. But they're no longer with you. You can do the same for any other grades, for any other students in any other grades who have 
transferred to another school, are no longer at the school, whatever that may look like. So that's how you would move those students out. I will be sure to send you those instructions, but again, to locate your own school's activation in code, you would go to school management here and you can find whatever school you're looking for and have their in code right there. And then I will send you our state activation in code as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. This is just a quick run through of how to move those students out. But again, we are going to be doing uh, registration for the new admin system, doing webinars for that. So reach out if you'd like to join those. Those are on our website as well. And we'd love to see you there. So have a great day. Bye-bye.